Hey yo, welcome back to the channel. And if it's your first time here, thanks for checking it out. I appreciate it. Hey, let's do a little bit of a walk around here of the truck as we do a quick video just talking about one way to improve on the Tacoma truck bed. All right, let's get into it. So as you know, the Tacoma comes with a composite truck bed. Um, you can hear that composite plastic. Uh, it's a solid piece. It's not an inlay. It's nice because it means you don't need to put in any kind of a spray liner or anything like that. But you'll also notice because of that hard surface, it's actually pretty slippery. Much more so than I thought it would be, and that caused a little bit of issues. So one of the issues I was running into as summer hit, warmer weather, started heading to the lake, heading up the mountains, uh, heading to a park for a picnic, throwing a couple coolers in the back, they were just sliding all over the place. Like bad, just bouncing all over. Um, you know, I've got the tie down hooks, probably should have grabbed some bungee cords and tied those down, but I decided, you know what? There's something I think I'm gonna need to be able to fix that problem. I decided it was time for me to get the OEM bed mat for the Toyota Tacoma. With the bed mat in, it's almost imperceptible as far as when you look at it, it's still that same black color. It matches the composite bed. I mean, it virtually looks the same. You've just got a little bit different material and then of course your pattern is different so that OEM's got the or the uh, composite beds got things running this way the uh, bed mats got a little bit different design to it to hold stuff in all right so check it out you can see it's a fairly thick size pad you got these little kind of bumps on the bottom that are going to give it that holding power so that the pad itself doesn't slide it's also made for this truck bed so you can get the long version this is the short bed but it's made for it, so it's going to be able to grip to it. Uh, it's got the nice Tacoma logo in the middle. You can see the uh, pattern in it kind of go in the different directions, be able to hold stuff in. But it's really just this material that is what I'm hoping is going to solve that problem of things sliding around. Now, I still will use the tie downs and stuff to tie them down when necessarily, but uh, I'm really hoping this is going to do the trick. Let's do a little bit of a driving test and see if it's going to make a difference. All right, I got a couple coolers in the back. They're not completely full, but they're not completely empty, so they do have a little bit of weight to them. Let's do a little bit of a driving test and see what happens. Again, removed the uh, bed mat, so this is just on the composite bed. Let's uh, try this again. Again, this is with the bed mat in place.
right, so I tried to drive those about the same. Again, same weight in these. Uh, interesting that the uh, smaller one actually slid less uh, than the bigger one, but you can see they weren't bouncing all around in the same way that it was without the bed mat. So, um, you know, I paid just over 100, about 109. I actually grabbed it right from the dealership. So this is OEM, although I know you can grab the exact same mats on Amazon. I'll put a link down in the description. Uh, and then leave a comment. Is this something you're using? Um, do you find that it's just as easy to strap things down? Again, if I threw some bungee cords in, these would hold just as easily. So uh, let me know your thoughts. Also, hey, hit that like button, subscribe. Love to have uh, some more subscribers and we'll keep kicking out um, a video at least once a week. All right, thanks for being here.